Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel, and today we are going to be doing a very chill, let's talk to you kind of video. I'm going to be putting on makeup, not a lot, because I'm just not feeling a lot, and I'm just going to like talk to y'all because I just want to, okay? <laughs> know that these types of videos aren't for everybody, and that's totally chill. Like, if you don't like it, then you don't have to watch it, but I just want to be real today and not saying that I'm not real all the time but like I just want to be you know I haven't even brushed my hair so it, it can be more real than this right now I'm still wearing pajama pants and pajamas so I'm not even gonna put on foundation today because I want something really light but also kind of put together my skin has been breaking out a lot which it hasn't in a few months so I'm kind of confused I'm guessing it's because of stress because I've been very very stressed lately but I'm not even gonna bother with foundation I'm just gonna let my skin be my skin today and that's what we're gonna do I'm just gonna start so it is the holiday season or at least around the holiday season it might be a little bit after the holiday season when you see this but nonetheless the holiday season and I just want to know do any of you guys work in retail I have talked about retail over and over on my channel that's kind of how my channel started was with the Target video and whatever I'm not working at Target anymore I'm working at Hobby Lobby and um, have been for eight months now it's so much crazier than I thought it was gonna be like legit <laughs> Hobby Lobby is just as crazy as Target on like a different scale which to a lot of you probably sounds crazy but there's less cashiers but like a crap ton of customers so it kind of on a smaller scale is similar to Target except Target has obviously a lot more people in it but we have a lot less cashiers if that makes sense so um also I'm just gonna say it flat out that cashiering sucks like it is my least favorite thing on planet earth like I know there are hundreds of jobs that are so much worse and that I would never ever be able to do and I have such respect for people who you know are in construction or are paramedics or there are so many different fields that I would not be able to do myself but like just I'm so grateful to have a job like I'm just saying that because I feel like I need to say that I'm super grateful that I even have a job and that I'm you know in good enough like physical ability to do it and be able to succeed at it but I just hate cashiering I just do like it it's so fake and I just like being true to myself I guess and that sounds really dumb but it's just how it is like I just like being real <laughs> and and not in like a mean way just not in a customer service hi how are you oh my gosh let me do everything for you all the time I can't believe oh I'm so sorry you know I just ugh, I just it's so exhausting to do that and some people will find no issue with that and if you're one of those people you're amazing and you make the world go round, you really do. I just find it very exhausting. Let me know if um, you work in retail or even if you don't work in retail or anything like retail. Let me know what, where you work, what you do, what your job consists of, and does it affect you during the holidays at all? Like, you know, my dad works for a like, um, like a lawn type company. Like they sell parts and stuff for, like lawn mowers and you know different yard tools and stuff and they get super busy around springtime when like we have rain and it's green and everything so you know that's kind of a company I wouldn't even think about so I know a lot of y'all probably have jobs that aren't even related to retail and I just want to know how that affects you during the holidays I'd be really interested to find out how different people are surviving during the holidays with their jobs that they do and as I said I'm not complaining about my job that's probably annoying that I keep saying that but I just know that I'm very lucky to be where I am I just like anybody with any job you're gonna find something you don't like about it and cashiering is that thing that I don't like also I really just want to highlight I got one of the sweetest comments the other day and I don't have it pulled up because I'm using my phone to film but 
it was on my unemployment video that I made months and months and months ago and I basically it was when I left Target and I was unemployed for two months and looking for a job and really really stressing out about finding a job um, and I talked about like feeling useless and depression and unemployment and all of those things. I even like, <laughs> there were some tears while I was filming it because it was just a really low moment. And I got the sweetest comment just, you know, a few days ago. Even though that video was old, it still really made me feel really good, I guess. <laughs> and it just basically said something about like, you know, don't beat yourself up, you know, kind of along the lines of you know, just keep making really good content because YouTube is kind of your job and, you know, you're you're doing really good. Just, it wasn't exactly like that, but it was just kind of along those lines and uh, hopefully later I'll remember and I'll like read it to you guys because it was just such an amazing comment and it just made me feel really, really good. I know my audience isn't huge, but I love YouTube. Like, I just really have a genuine... Uh, passion and love for it and I really want it to grow and I really want to succeed and I really want to meet new people and just you know kind of evolve a little bit which sounds crazy but <laughs> I just do like it's just how I feel um so reading some really amazing comments like that and I get a lot of my target video even one saying like oh this was so helpful this helped with my anxiety you know I have a lot of social anxiety like you and you know you just put my mind at ease and stuff and that makes me feel really good like I like knowing that I help somebody in some way I guess so yeah I just wanted to talk about that comment because it just made me feel really warm and fuzzy and I will hopefully remember to read that to you guys because I love reading your guys's comments I really do I, I love reading it I love responding to it and hearting it and letting you guys know that I do see them and I do acknowledge y'all and I do love y'all and you know the majority of y'all are very very nice and kind to me and I just don't know what I did to deserve y'all <laughs> is all I can say and I know there's not some of y'all are watching this like bitch you're you don't have a huge following like who are you talking about like there are like a handful of people that comment and that make me feel really good on a day-to-day -day basis so those people Y'all rock, okay? And y'all are awesome. That's literally all the makeup I'm gonna do. <laughs> like, I did mascara and two shades of eyeshadow. And that is it. And I'm probably gonna put on some chapstick. And that is gonna be my makeup look for today. Like, that's just it. And I've struggled with feeling very stuck. Like, I don't want to be in retail much longer but I'm kind of at a point where I'm like what else am I gonna do you know I'd I'd much rather you know write and publish my books and be a youtuber but that's is something that takes a lot of time so what am I gonna do in the meantime while I am trying to figure out my dreams and figure out how to accomplish them I guess because YouTube is a huge dream for me and my books are a huge dream for me and pretty much the only dreams that I want to pursue so I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get there what steps I need to take to get there so the fact that you're even watching it even if you didn't make it this far into the video like thank you like truly truly thank you from the bottom of my heart because even if it's just one person watching a 10 minute video of mine you help me somehow like you just kind of elevate me and even if you watch one minute of a video like that still helps me so much and I appreciate it every comment you leave every like every time I see you know a person subscribe like I've I'm not a huge fan of youtubers that at the end of every video they say subscribe like make sure you turn on those post notifications like you see that everywhere and I just I've I don't really like that very much. I feel like if someone likes you, they will subscribe to you. That's just how I've always been. So I'm not pressuring anybody to subscribe to me. Um, even though when you do, I love it and I appreciate it. Um, if you're just stumbling across one video and you're like, oh, she's okay or whatever, you know, I'm not pressuring anybody ever to do that. Even though in my old videos, when I first started YouTube, I'd always be like, like and subscribe. Cool. Yeah. I don't really do that anymore because 
I just... I don't know, it's weird to me, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to have a second and just show a lot of appreciation because I do appreciate every single person watching this or any other video or any other person who's watched any other video that I've ever created. Um, thank you, so yeah. That's it, <laughs> that's all I have for you guys today. There was very little makeup and a lot of rambling and talking, but that's just the video I was feeling like I needed to film today. And so that is the video that I film. And so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I've said that so many times in this video, you guys are probably like, okay, shut up now, we get it, you're thankful, okay, move on. But yeah, I just am. And I will see you guys next week with a whole new video. Bye guys.